and welcome back to Kirsty's Cars. It's another brilliant day here. Um, I'm just trying to get a little bit of stuff done. Um, I got a couple hours till I gotta go get the kids. Found myself some free time, so I'm gonna put it to use. Um, cleaning out the Subaru right now because I've been uh, neglecting her on that aspect inside. I'm gonna detail it up a bit and then I'll run her by the car wash on my way to work tonight. Get her nice and clean and happy. So that way maybe she won't break down on me. <laughs> and then I'm gonna, I wanna say tonight, but I work tonight, so maybe tomorrow. We'll get going on some more stuff on the Nova. Wisdom from Kirsty in her car. Just wanted to pop in and say, if you find that you are a speed demon, that you exceed the speed limit once in a great while or maybe all the time, maybe you drive for a living like I do and it's just nice to have because you're always driving, invest in one of these bad boys, okay? This one's the Passport uh, 360C, Max 360C. I'm not sure if this is the newest version. I'm pretty sure they have a newer one out by now, but yeah, this thing is so worth it. It has saved my butt numerous times, but for real, it'll tell you up to the foot. Like there's 936 feet until a cop will be on your right. It's just like crazy and it's, it's totally legit and it works amazing. And it'll tell you all the little red light cameras. It'll tell you all the little speed traps. It'll tell you everything. And yeah, invest. If you're like me, I guess. I don't know. Invest. And also get yourself one of these uh, nifty little dash cams right here, man. This thing has also saved my butt. When I get pulled over, I make it like a point to like twist it around and like point it at the cop. You'd be like, hey, officer.
the same video. Um, I don't have much time, so I have to come out here a little bit every day and then mix it all together and make one video for you guys. That's just how it has to work right now, so hang in there with me. Eventually, I'll have enough time in my day to be able to just bust out one whole video in one day, you know? But I still have a few kids at home homeschooling, so I still kind of have my hands tied. But um, today I am going to try to get the weather stripping out of the driver's side. Um, I, I initially wedged the car too close to the wall over there, so it's kind of a tight squeeze. So I'm going to try to get the best angles that I can for you guys. Sorry if it's not the best, but let's go. Darlings, let me show you what I have in store for me today. That looks ten times worse than the other side did. Like, uh, it looks like somebody tried to quick fix it with silicone. And it looks bad. Uh, it should be fun. It should be fun. Should be harder than the other side, and hey, I love myself a good challenge. So let's roll.
going great. It's gotten hot in here, but I've just been uh, cleaning up this uh, hatch area. Starting to see a little bit of that blue. Woo! It's not all rust. So I'm just sitting here waiting for my dad to show up. Um, he's going to be rolling over in the Camino. Uh, it's a 71 L Camino. Man, he's he's done a lot of work to it. So I'm really grateful to have him around and to get advice from... Oh. Busting out the wire wheel on the firewall. 
We're just moving. Even though we got some bad news, we're just moving. Just wanted to give you guys a little update of what all happened yesterday um had my dad over and we did more talking than anything um i love to pick that man's brain he has so much knowledge and it's great to learn from him so more than anything i did a lot of learning yesterday um definitely discovered something new so i don't know how i didn't notice and my dad didn't notice when we were pulling this motor that the subframe is bent. Oh, it was so depressing. But, you know, sometimes those things get overlooked with the untrained eye. I mean, I definitely could have uh, inspected the frame a little better, but it's just one of those things that's awfully hidden until you get it all ripped apart like this, and then it becomes a lot more obvious. So you can clearly tell if you were to center right there and bring it down it should all align straight well that right there is pretty freaking crooked <laughs> okay and not only that I noticed this uh, yeah it's like uh, not even welded no more right and the whole thing's ajarred um, you can see this weld right here is really tight these two you look over here, big old gap, and it's been retouched. Um, big old gash right there in the frame. 
and then this is uh, gashed as well. I mean, I, <laughs> I honestly have no idea how I didn't realize this till yesterday. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I uh, was planning on painting all that. Um, once we realized that, uh, yeah, we're going to have to get a new subframe. So not even going to worry about that, but went ahead and touched up the firewall. I mean, looks pretty clean. And it's always just a blast learning from my dad and getting to hang out with him. Um, so he helped me accomplish something.